All right, so in this video, we're gonna be testing out the frame rate unlock mod to see if it's worth using and see if it's stable and all that stuff and see if it works good. Now, before we get started, I'd really appreciate if you go down below and give this video a like and then get subscribed so you don't miss any of my future Elden Ring videos. And with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So as you can see, we're running at, well, not 60 FPS. <laughs> Hold on, if we turn it up to the sky, there we go. As you can see, we do have the frame rate unlock mod on and we're playing at maximum settings with uh, we're at 1440p and as you can see and with the frame rate graph it is very 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 unstable and very stuttery it is it is it's just it's not good for you guys it looks even worse because um the stuttering makes it worse and since i'm not recording at 60 fps or i'm not playing at 60 fps it looks more stuttery on your recording end but just know that just because it says 118 fps those stutters are very 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 noticeable and it's just not worth using because if we turn around here we go right down to 52 fps and we're stuttering a ton that's very noticeable but we will try some lower settings because right now we're at maximum i will put this down to medium and uh, I will exit out to title screen to make sure all the settings are enabled. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back at the game in medium settings and you can very much tell it is medium settings because there's not much anti-aliasing. And even at medium settings, we're still only at 67 FPS. And it's just, it just doesn't look good. Even if we face back here, we're still only getting 90 FPS. And it's not a good 90 FPS because it is still super stuttery. Like, look at that graph. That is bad. You, you don't you don't want that. That's very bad. <laughs> so I don't know. I would. I, I don't know if this is like the game's fault or if it's the mod's fault. I'm not really sure. But I wouldn't recommend using it because even I have a pretty powerful computer. I have an RTX 3070. Ryzen 5 5600X, and it, it was a pretty good computer. And even with this computer, it is just not not good. It's not worth, the 30 FPS is not worth it for all the stuttering that I'm getting right now, and all that jazz. So I wouldn't recommend you use it, but I would, I would wait about a month. I would let the developers get the game all updated and nice and working good, get rid of the FPS stuttering issues, even without the mod, and make sure it's all good. Then that'll also give the mod developer time to get his mod all good and working well. And then, then maybe it'll work good. I will do a video where I test out this mod again in like a couple of weeks or a month. And we'll see how it works then. But yeah, it's not worth using. Don't use it, especially if you have a, not a strong computer. It's not worth it. And yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, then hey, go down below and give this video a like and get subscribed so you don't miss any of my future Elden Ring videos. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.